Hey, it's Caleb and Courtney here coming to you from the third instalment of Vision Festival. It's a locally run prog rock event here at Jive. We should probably kick off with Jonty first. Do you want to tell us a bit about the festival and how this all came together? Yeah, for sure. So uh, this time around, going for a prog theme and experimental uh, lineup at Vision Fest, and it uh, came around where I was kind of brainstorming what theme to choose, and then uh, Dion from Overview Effect kind of approached me about uh, doing a prog festival, and then I said to him, like, why don't I take, you know, what you kind of want out of a festival and make it the theme for Vision. If your music could be a soundtrack to a movie, what would that be? I'm going to say Apocalypse Now. Because we recently went on tour in, in Indonesia, so we got those Southeast Asian uh, vibes. I'd say Fear and Loathing in Las yeah. Vegas, without taking lots of drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of have a thing where we we consider our set uh, a, some sort of a cinematic psycho-thriller anyway. So that's the, that's the journey we aim for. We did have like an Aussie film producer want to make some like B-grade action movies and put our music as the, oh, as the sound. Yeah. Enter the void. <laughs> <laughs> Both aquatic and space related. Cinemascapes, a lot of like running, a lot of people like planet running Earth. into yeah. nowhere. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, planet I was thinking Earth. the new planet Earth. Sounds like, exhausting. <laughs> planet Earth, yeah. The new planet Earth. Yeah, yeah that'll do. David, anything with David Attenborough. It's like if the Grand Budapest Hotel had like a metal soundtrack. Oh, that's oh. Cool. Some sort of dodgy teen movie. <laughs> oh, I reckon. Like American Pie, but not one of the good ones. If you think of Jurassic Park, there's some pretty intense scenes and then there's some quite chilled scenes mm. where they're just having dinner. But then there's other scenes when there's, you know, velociraptors running around and it's intense. So I suppose that could be quite reflective of the music. That even that song. Yeah. It's like a whole set. Almost. Yeah, so it, that actually helps because if we get a, th um, a gig and they're like, you're playing for half an hour, we only have to rehearse one song. So we've got the workshops that are happening tomorrow as well that are part of Vision Festival this year. Is there any advice you guys have been given as a band that you would pass on to other bands in terms of, you know, live show, writing process, recording, anything like that? Workshop the songs as much as you can. Yep. And make sure you bring in the input from all the band members. You've got to write a lot of shit and then, like, you've just hoped that the shit sticks. So, like, for every, like, top 40 hit, there are, like a million songs that that artist has yeah. which is absolutely horrible. Try to try to find your own thing and don't feel too stressed if you don't find it straight away. Um, quite often that sort of thing just kind of comes through rehearsing and gigging and just kind of exploring new ideas and that sort of stuff. Yeah. I think it's one of those things people forget that they do need to think about and incorporate in you know their practices or something that they talk about how they're going to present themselves mm. as a yeah, band as a whole. Yeah totally and it makes a huge difference when you see a band that are um, comfortable playing live or at least just comfortable and enjoying the music. Hooking up with other acts who are established and uh, like learning the, the tricks of the trade from them. Just be cool and that's it. Just be really <laughs> nice to everyone and there's a lot of nice people in the Adelaide music scene and Australian music scene so just reciprocate that and everyone be friendly to each other. Social media and a lot of the digital things that have come on have given bands different opportunities, different choices than say in the past where you had to have a record company and yeah and that, that would, you know, do most of your marketing for you. So now it's very do it yourself, yeah. you know, independent kind of vibe. Definitely, definitely research yeah. people you're about to work with. Putting getting yourself out there and um, really not waiting for people to come to you, but go and look for people mm -hmm. instead of because you no know, because there's so much music out there, no one's gonna just discover you anymore. I think you have to have like a constant drive to explore your music scene in your city mm, yeah. and in your country as well. Like you need to constantly be finding bands. I mean, it's always bigger than you imagine. Like you'll find, you'll make friends with a few bands when you start out and you'll want to play shows with them, but there's so many more yeah. out there and like, um, yeah, like it's just, it's, you've got to make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> 